Like a lot of others, over the last two weeks, I've been bashing away at the Switch. Although playing 1-2 Switch does sometimes make you look like you're bashing away at something else. One console, one game, $350. We'll have to wait and see if it's why spend. But that got me thinking, I mean, what kind of camera can you get for $350 that's better than Wankathon Fun? Getting into photography doesn't always come cheap. The Xiaoyi M1 does. It's a micro four thirds mirrorless camera with specs that sound kind of promising. I mean, it kind of looks like a Leica. If you squint really hard, almost until your eyes are shut, and maybe put the camera really far away. But let's not kill ourselves. I mean, it's probably the price of a Leica lens cap. And you get two sets of lens caps with this because it comes with two lenses. Thus, expectations should be set quite a bit low with this camera. But having said that, the reason why I came out here is because I shot this with a Sony a7R2 and a Zeiss Batiste 18mm. And I thought, you know, I'll do some comparison shots. Stupid. I mean, come on now. Actually, what the hell was I thinking? Now, actually. Ooh, the sounds of the future. Kind of sounds like a bomb being diffused though. <laughs> okay, I've only got two buttons on the back. Oh, it's a, it's a touch screen, that's fine, okay. Fair dues. And the touch screen is not bad actually. Great, off to a good start. Right, so subject doesn't appear to be moving that much. I mean, it doesn't have legs, yet it still seems to be struggling with autofocus. Oh, bugger. I mean, wow, actual wow. Houston, we have a huge fucking problem. It won't focus. A little bit of hunting there on a subject that doesn't move. I'm, and I'm just using the same point. I've just selected one single point. Now we're talking. Maybe we shouldn't talk about speed. Image quality, what's that like? Jeez. So one thing about this is that you can't actually shoot RAW and JPEG at the same time. It's one or the other. All right, let's just, just, just take a quick and dirty picture. Don't know why I said dirty. Makes it sound rather pervy. The zoom lens you get with this is kind of average. Image quality is all right though. DNG files nice to work with. Auto at ISO 200, there is a bit of noise in the dark tones. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go somewhere else. The other big news with this Xiaomi M1 is that it shoots 4K video, which is not bad for $350. But just how does it compare to its Micro Four Thirds cousins? 4K is a neat feature to have on an entry-level camera. Sounds obvious, not to some other brands though. I mean, things seem to start off well. For a start, it's got 4K video, and then it's got peaking mode. And then it's got, um, oh yes, it's got image stabilization. He's trying to find some treasure. I mean, it, it's quite a wonder that I managed to spot him with that jacket on. I could barely see him. It's like perfectly blended into environment. Video quality at 4K is not atrocious, far from it in fact. It's actually what you might call decent. A nice sharp detailed image, colours are nice, and it even takes 1080p 50 frames per second vids, and also looks good. There's a but though, isn't there? Mind you, that image stabilisation comes in the form of digital image stabilisation. And this lens doesn't actually have any optical stabilisation. Digital IS, which only works in HD mode, doesn't make the video a lot smoother, but that's not a big butt, that's glutamus minimus. And when you're shooting that video, 
you can't actually change the focus points. In fact, you can't see where the focus point is. So if you picked a single focus point, you don't know which one it is. You can't remember which one it is. Of course, you can just pick the center point and remember that. But still, Uh, well, it does suffer from this flickering in 4K. That's a big arse. And also, if you want to take control of your settings, you're not in any luck. I mean, everything is shot wide open. You don't have a choice. You can't change anything. Everything is automatic. But you know what, the absolute best bit, totally, totally best bit, is the fact that it takes lenses other than the Xiaomi ones. You can find them. The hardware's not all that bad. The basic specs are more than sufficient. The 4K video is quite nice looking. This could have been a great affordable 4K camera, but it feels like they've missed the boat with this one. Hardware's nothing of it isn't made good use of with the software, the way it's programmed to run. Well, most of the time. Despite only having one game worth playing, my $350 was better spent on this. But look, someone will appreciate the Xiaomi M1 even if I don't. Would you like a camera for free, people? Free camera. It's a Xiaomi M1. That sounds good. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> simple as wow. that. As simple as that. Shoot is 4K, 24 megapixels. It's Enjoy it. Stuff. It's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> it's that good as it. There you go.